Wes, we've had other questions come in about the file system, specifically the fact that we don't do this thing called an FSCK when, when we bring up a file system. Can you explain why we don't? Sure. Okay, sure. great. Right. So um, to explain that, we have to understand what a journaling file system is, also known as a logging file system. But first, before we get to that, let's talk about a standard Unix file system so we understand where these things come into play. So here I have a set of disk space, I have a file system on this in green, and the file system is made up of two pieces, metadata and basically our space where our files go, kind of the general file system. The metadata is what I call the roadmap of where our data resides out here, because this is where it's gonna have all our behind the scenes information, our super block, our, our, our basically our information that defines where the inodes are, the allocation units, all these things that point to where the data resides on disk. Well, when a standard Unix file system is loaded, the metadata, or mounted I should say, the metadata itself is going to be loaded into memory. So now, anytime I create a file, so let's just uh, VI a file here, I'll just call it file one, <laughs> very original. Um, so I create a file. A lot of things are happening in the metadata. We need to assign an inode, we need to assign disk blocks from the free extent map or just a free block map for a general file system. And we need to update the, uh, the directory tables, uh, etc. A lot of little things that happen to happen. Well, those are structural changes for the file system. Those happen in memory for performance reasons. So they're in memory, they're not on disk. So if I unmount this file system, we have to ensure that the metadata on disk, that is our roadmap for where the data is in the standard file system, has to be up to date. So we have essentially a flushing process that's going to flush the metadata changes that are in memory to disk. Okay? And this also happens periodically, typically every 30 seconds. This will be flushed to disk to make sure this matches what's out here. Well, when we go and remount the file system, the FSCK runs. FSCK is going to check a special flag, typically known as the clean bit flag. The clean bit flag will be set if this was shut down clean, meaning the changes in memory were updated to disk. Well, since it was a clean shutdown, when FSCK runs, checks the clean bit flag, it was set, and it allows the file system to be mounted. No FSCK has to actually run the test of the file system to rebuild metadata since it is up to date. Well, if a system crashes while a file system is mounted, change data is here and has not yet been flushed out to here, this is lost. Well, if this is lost, that means when it's coming back online, the FSCK runs, it's going to check that clean bit flag, not set this time, and now we have to run an exhaustive scan of the file system for the purpose of rebuilding the metadata. And that's where the time comes in. We change all that with our journaling file system. So what we do is when we create a file with the XFS, we're gonna take those metadata changes and update a special log, our intent log, that resides within our metadata on disk, non-volatile media. So it will be logged here. Now it's not going to the metadata. It's a sequentially uh, written log, so higher performance. And it's a circular log, okay? So it's written down there and periodically flushed to the metadata to keep it up to date. So in the event of a system crash, when we come back up, we do run an FSCK, but it checks to see if the, flaw, uh, the logs are good and if they have change blocks in them. If they do, they flush it to the metadata. Now the metadata is up to date and points to the correct data out here. We don't have to run that exhaustive test and we can then mount it up. So we're essentially eliminating the FSCK scans that would have to be performed in a standard Unix file system. So it appears like nothing's being run. It just comes up, it crashed, it mounts, we're done, super fast. And that's one of the big things about journaling that that allows customers to be able to come up very, very quickly mm -hmm. in the event of a crash because of that log, right? Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, Wes, thank you so much for explaining this to us. We My appreciate pleasure. it. My pleasure.